Welcome to another episode of the Power Hour with your host, Lauren Powers. And it's about female experts sharing their tips, tricks, experiences on how to be healthy, wealthy, and happy. And today, I'm so blessed and honored to have one. Not only is she amazing, but she's also my friend. And she is Shelly Hunt. Welcome to the show, Miss Shelly. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. I'm excited to be here. Yes, you look so official with your flag in the background. I just love it. Flag in the background, you like that? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's fabulous. And the haircut, everything looks amazing. You look so <laughs> official. But you are official. I mean, you're like the CEO and founder of like a million organizations. So I'm going to just let you talk about, you can pick one at a time and let us know what, what they are and how you became founder of them and some of your missions and your you're all about okay. you're all about serving. I know that, and that's why we're friends. So, uh, okay. So <laughs> I am all about serving. That is true. I know um, you are. <laughs> so I'll talk about the, one of the one of my companies, um, Successes by Design. Successes by Design is a marketing agency. We also do product development and distribution, um, and we do PR. We do media. We do all sorts of stuff. You know, um, everything from idea conceptually to logos to design to bottling to manufacturing to distributing to big box stores and so much more um we also um have worked for some of the top fortune companies in the world um and we also have taught in university of chicago we still teach in the mba program for business strategy at cal state long beach um and then you know we kind of volunteer some of our stuff we help the veterans there that are transitioning out of the military. Um, we do a gateway program that puts people into business for themselves, basically in 72 hours, which is pretty exciting, um, if you ask me. Uh, and so that's one of the companies. And one of the other companies, oh, we also do big advertisements. So everything from what we do, everything from the airlines to television, national and cable commercials, you name it. Um, but I also have Women of Global Change, Yes. Women of Global Change is an international organization that is very grassroots and started out just as a concept to make um, engaged, empowered, positive leaders come together um, mm -hmm. to be active participants in the world and the change that we want to see in the world. And so we formed a network of community leaders and business leaders, and um, we have a lot of social impact. So we have educational programs that we offer around the world in all these different locales. Matter of fact, I was just on the phone yesterday and we have Spain and the UK and Malaysia and Canada and Liberia and we're um, now Uganda and um, like 10 different places in Africa and it has just completely taken off. We're all over the US, um, everywhere from East Coast to the mid to the West Coast. It's truly um, incredible. And so what we do is we have an educational platform for women to be able to share their knowledge and be able to cross network. And we're all about camaraderie and collaboration, <laughs> which is a little different sometimes than some women's organizations um, <laughs> or any organizations, you know, where they're in the same industry. Um, and we also do social impact, as I said. So once a month, every chapter and every locale has a educational platform and then at least minimum several times a year, um, sometimes a lot more, we do service projects and we get together with the community and um, we've done it for, for example, we partnered with Britney Spears and helped um, with the Las Vegas Children's Cancer um, Foundation Center and really getting that built and, and getting that active for um, children that are going through cancer treatment and to be able to ease that. We've done sex trafficking in Atlanta where we helped um, with uh, the refurbishing of over, I think we did six of the apartments of an 80 apartment building, but the donations that came in were enough to paint all the buildings and not just refurbished, but I'm talking everything like the sheets, the beds, the everything, a place that is kind of a respite um, for sex trafficking um, survivors. We also have helped homelessness, teen suicide. You know, the way that it was set up was what calls to you. 
in your area. And, um, you know, we have methods and things that come together. Um, and we've done many international products that uh, projects. I mean, it, it's so funny because that company literally has been recognized by three sitting presidents. Um, it has five white house awards. We have humanitarian of the year awards. We have achievement awards. We're now in the hall of fame with the girl scouts. Okay. And for organizational leadership. Now this is a really great lead in here because I have to tell you, as I stood there as the founder of this company thinking, have you ever seen us all in the back room? Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I'm, I'm sitting here for organizational leadership. Right. Uh, and I think, I think we all feel that way sometimes in our business. <laughs> so anyways, that's women of global change. And you know, I have some others, I have production companies and I do film stuff and I do a whole bunch of different stuff. What I love is I love women being in power, being in leadership of in fulfillment and joy of the journey. And of course I love them knowing how to make money and how to make their businesses run and one of my slogans is business is meant to free us from the chains that bind us. Not so we're bound by the chains of a business. And we go into business to have freedom, to have liberty, right? Do what we want to do when we want to do it, have what we want to have when we want to have it, be what we want to be when we, right? We want freedom. And we start out with this renewable energy. And that's called our passion. Mm. And when we start out, it's a renewable source. It's a, ren it, it, it brings energy and we start out with that. And then we kind of get into the mechanics. And when we get into the mechanics, it's almost like we're like a Nerf ball. Like we're tightening our energy and focused and focused and focused and focused. And it takes a lot of energy to hold that tight. And usually when someone is into the mechanics, they'll last maybe 90 to 120 days and then they burn out burn out yeah and it's yeah. it's remembering we have a renewable source and it's being able to plug in to you know our commitment our intention our passion and increase our performance um uh capacity and to be able to um like I said, enjoy the journey more, right? So we're not just on a gerbil wheel. Behind me, I used to have a little gerbil wheel. Somebody bought me <laughs> battery operated gerbil. I thought it was a little weird, but you know, I talk about it. So I was like, okay. Um, but it is a constant reminder to me. And I think what reminders do you have around you so that you're constantly from time to time checking in? Like, wait a minute, why am I doing this? You know, like what is, um, Kelly Polis uses it and I love it. And she says, it's called, what is my game worth playing? And, you know, I've had multiple companies. I, I do tons of things and I still get on the gerbil wheel. I think we all do. Mm -hmm. And being able to step off and go, wait, what, is my game worth playing? And in other words, in life, what is the bigger thing that I'm here to do that I'm here to serve? Um, you know, because it's not, we forget it. <laughs> it's just, we're on the gerbil wheel and we're running and we're running, we're running. Right. And it's kind of like, you know, the more you work, the narrower the vision and it's good to be focused, but there's a point where it's a narrower vision and you have to remember what was the dream? What was the big vision of what I wanted to create here? You know, it's kind of like when you do a puzzle and <laughs> I used to do puzzles a lot. I don't do them as much anymore, but maybe I should start again. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I know that was a stupid thing, but whatever. Um, but when you lay out a puzzle and you're looking at it, looking at it, looking at it, do you ever notice you walk away and you come back and you go, wait, there's that piece. Yes. Yeah, so you have it. Right. It's the same kind of principle. And so there's a resistance and a, a narrowing um, of the vision when we're just into the task, into the to do every day. And so um, I, I just 
anyways <laughs> yeah pretty much well it just gets tighter one. and tighter and tighter right yeah and so and our energy gets tighter and tighter and tighter and, it, and it's a hard energy to hold for a long period of time without going into burnout you know and it's like well to have more i have to do more to have more i have to do more to have more i have to do more and that starts to become the the gerbil wheel instead of wait let me be then let me do then i'll have oh i like that say that again i like that let me be then i'll do you then i'll have yeah right because let me be that's that renewable source i was talking about I like we that. have this highly renewable source this and you know the more productive our relationship is with our renewable source and the more that we're cognizant personally you know and and um how do you know when you're starting to wane well you know you're starting to wane by look at your results yeah results right? tell all, don't look they? at your re results like oh i'm not generating the cash flow i want right now i'm not having the health that i want right now i'm not having the happiness in my life um, I'm not, you know, and not to say that everything's always happy, you know, it's kind of like it ebbs and flows, but it can be yes. more directed and more of the time, you know, and, um, and then, so it's, how do we have that conscious integration, not just for our corporate culture and not just for the things that we want, but for like our big view and remembering our big view. You know, and then people say to me, well, how do I do that? Well, there's a couple ways. You know, one of the things that you can do that, that I love doing is when I start to feel like my nose to the grindstone and my energy starts to lower, even just like a daily thing, mm -hmm. I crank up the music and I'll start dancing. And it's something that fires me up. You know, um, for some people, it could be they go sit by a plant. You know, it could be like, there's something that feeds you, that brings you to your bee. It could be maybe your animal. And you actually really sit there and you pet your animal. You, you know this, Lauren, you're the animal, Lauren. And yeah. you commune, you, you're like truly communing. And all of a sudden, you'll know that you're in the bee because your mind will stop thinking about the do. And okay. so you have to actually allow yourself the time. Now, what's funny is people go, I don't have the time to do this. I got all this stuff to do. And you're like, um, you will be more proficient. You will um, have a more wide open viewpoint, which spots solutions, opportunities, mm -hmm. and other things that are in front of you that when you have a narrow view, you don't see as many. Um, and you'll actually enjoy the journey more. But how you'll know is, this stops and sometimes i mean i know for me i've been on the gerbil <laughs> where i had to sit there and i have like on the little side of my house i have this little garden so everybody should have a little area okay that's yes. your like the area you know um and i have this little garden area and i sit there until kind of my shoulders drop and i'm just kind of chill sometimes it's, sometimes it's a couple hours like no kidding depending on what's going on the level you know um you know one of the other things is how we look at you know because people go well you know you you have a bunch of stuff on your plate and you've got a lot of companies and you've got this you got that. you must have no time i said no i have time you know perfect example <laughs> we always make time when we want to date somebody have you ever <laughs> noticed that there okay. are the things that we want. People, we, ladies, well, guys do it too, right? But when you're like, I have no time, I have no time, I have no time, and then somebody calls you and you're like, Oh, you want to go to dinner? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have time. It's like I'm moving crap, right? Because a girl's got to eat, Shell. A girl's got to eat. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so funny. <laughs> so Great. we all have. There's time. You know, and um, I had a great mentor that gave me a lesson a long time ago because she was running these conglomerates, these fortune conglomerates. And I said, how the heck do you do this? 
And she said, every day I look at, I have like a big platter in front of me. And so just visualize whatever your platter looks like, you know? And she goes, mine's China. And I'm like, mine's like the steel metal kind of, you know, <laughs> Renaissance looking thing, right? So whatever your platter is, picture this big platter in front of you. I said, okay. She says, now on the platter are all the things that have to be handled. So there's maybe one thing in this company, or it's PR in this company, it's an advertise in this company, you know, it's a whatever, it's a whatever, it's a what, and it's all these little piles. And she goes, what do the piles look like? And I said, piles of shit <laughs> that I have to handle? And she said, well, that's the first problem. <laughs> Yeah, I would think so. And it was true. And I go, well, what do your piles look like? And she goes, little croissants. I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right. And she goes, when I look at it, because that's how, how are we viewing things, right? It's right. that renewable source that I talked about earlier, right? Is right. how we're looking and we're digesting things is either taking away energy and making it smaller or it's opening up energy, right? And so even with my visualization of little piles of poops, okay. Kill me. <laughs> well, I should have used poops probably the first time, but I was being honest about what I actually said. Right. Um, <laughs> of course you were. You know, I know I you. Was. I yeah, know. right? I just kind of, oh, it is what it is. And um, so anyway, she said, well, that's the first thing. And I said, well, okay, now what? And she said, I look at it and go, what needs to be handled today? And what doesn't? And then I handle what needs to be handled today. I take my little croissants off. And maybe there's more croissants that come on, but these are done. And I always handle several things in a day, sometimes a few more. Um, but I don't try to take it all on. Because if I look at it like I have to take it all on, it becomes overwhelming. Once again, what does that do? Right. Squeeze it. Right? It's not... It, it tightens, tightens everything up instead of like, it's heavy. I got all this. Oh my God, it's heavy. Um, instead of, okay, I handled whatever it is. And I said, well, what if a fire comes up and you need to handle She goes, well, then I handle that. And that's okay. There's, there'll be more tomorrow and it's okay there's more tomorrow. And then she goes, and then I put the platter down and I go, hmm, what do I want to do? Now, in other words, she's saying that she disconnected. And it's that same B. Okay. So she steps back into the B. Instead of doing you know? it. Right. Platter, platter, platter. So, renewable source. Back to your okay. passion. You described it as passion, right? It's passion. And it's also defining and remembering. Um, like I said with, with Kelly Pulis, you know, what is your game worth playing? You know, and I remember when she first said that to me, and it was funny because I think I almost wrote the same thing that I wrote last time, and I just was with her, like, a couple months ago. And I, I sat there going, wait, what is my game worth playing? Let me, let me revisit this. And, you know, my game worth playing was to make a difference on the face of the planet and for humanity. And for that to happen, I believe women need to lead right now. And I love men, okay, hear me. But I just think we're in such a dynamic age right now. I mean, women are now 80% of the consumers. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they buy for everybody. We buy for our pets, for our house, for our partners, for our whatever. Mm -hmm. um, we are the consumers, even if we're making less money an hour, I won't get into that, however. <laughs> <laughs> however, women are incredible um, multitaskers. And I know some people disagree with that, and I've heard some people go, oh, no, no, no. and I'm like, we kind of are, you know, and we don't miss much. We really don't. I think we ignore a lot. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> Well, it's true, you know, and I, I think that um, we're meant to have a fulfilling life here. We're meant to lead right now in future generations into 
maybe a new way of camaraderie, maybe a new way of um, collaboration. And being able to be an example for that. There's nothing more powerful than a group of women that have come together that are on a mission. Get out of their way. You think a mother bear is bad? <laughs> you know, and- I've been uh, on a mission with you. <laughs> we kick butt, right? You know, there's nothing more powerful than that. And, you know, women being able to team up to do business or learn you know, um, from other women. And we have more and more examples of it now than I think we've probably ever had in history. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and we finally called it out. We finally called it out on some of the competition that was put into media and that was put into other things where we went, you know what? Okay, you know, my butt's too small, my butt's too big. It is perfect model size. You know, and um, we're looking at it going, wait a minute, you know, the, the people that have done like these really amazing businesses, like I, I think, well, let me back up because I know as a woman, I would go to the mirror and I would look at myself and I'd go, where did this bag come from? <laughs> like first thing in the morning, right? Instead of, okay, wait, where's my renewable source? You know, and, and how am I being with myself? First off, how right. am I being kind to myself? And I'd be, you know, and in the beginning, I have to tell you, it was interesting, the self-talk that went on as I was like, hi, beautiful. And I was like, okay, that felt weird. <laughs> or that felt kind of conceited. Or that felt kind of stupid. But it isn't. No, it's called self-love, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's so funny, you know, when we were little girls, oh man, we were the be most beautiful princess in the world, even miss our front teeth. Okay. We're like, <laughs> we're beautiful princesses. And we were all, I don't know about you. I was like this ugly duckling. It was really kind of funny. Um, you know, but you know, we, we started to adopt, um, some of these things on our little gerbil wheel. Mm. And so, you know, breaking the habits of that and tapping back into our renewable sources, I think is super imperative from the start of the day and throughout our day start of the day i like that yeah i mean i always think about how you start your day is how your day is going to go now it doesn't always work out that way and sometimes i have to remind myself um you know uh but i think what are the renewable sources and and how we are to ourselves is a renewable source and how we are to our sisters mm. and the people around us can be a renewable source. Now, sometimes it's toxic people and, you know, all of a sudden you feel like your energy is just, right? right? Yes. Then yep. that's how I always can tell. You can always tell if it's, could be a toxic person. And it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with them, but it does mean maybe you need to step to the side just a, a bit, you know, and, and be, well, I'm trying to say it as nice as I can. Be, <laughs> sacred with your space yes be sacred with your space um be very cognizant of how you talk to yourself be very cognizant is it poo poo on the platter or is it croissants good point <laughs> okay is another person in your same industry competition or a possible comrade yeah you know, and um, I mean, even down to relationships, you know, I mean, oh my gosh, there's blah, blah, blah. And you go, wait a minute, let me remember why. Why was this game worth playing in a relationship? Mm. Yes. Why was this work worth playing in a relationship? Because it's never really about the money. Though I say businesses are meant to free us, right? not so we're bound by the chains of a business but what what was the bigger objective the bigger service the the and, and it all comes down to service because whether it's a product or it's a service mm -hmm. it's a service to individuals um and totally tap into that you know on my computer screen before we started at, at the front of my computer I have this, right, I'll show you because I have it on my little pad too. 
which is this. Oh, yes, I've seen that. It's me in a third world country. Yes. And it was one of the first third world countries where I was like, I want to do something. I want to make a bigger impact on the face of the planet. I want, not even I want, it's there's the wording, right? Yes. At that moment, it was I want. Um, it was more like I can, like we can, we can make a difference. Yes. I can make a difference. I can pull business leaders together. We can go in, we can do work for sustainable work for future generations. So that to me was my game worth playing that I've played full out and it could be, you want to address homelessness. It could be mental health. It could be a book on leadership. It could be anything. Yes. But the vision's got to be larger than life. And I guarantee when you started, it was a big vision, but we can go bigger. And especially right now, we are so globally connected. Mm -hmm. I mean, to find joint partnerships, to find other people in camaraderie, to find other mentors, to find things, it's so easy. It's yeah. unbelievable. I mean, you know, like I said, I was on the phone with Spain and Malaysia and all that, and I'm going, wow. <laughs> This is so cool. It's so amazing. You know, and when we get into the to-do, we go here. And there's a time for that. But be aware. Be aware how long you're in that. Mm. Keep bringing yourself back out to a larger view. And remember to do the B. The B. Do the B. That's kind of funny. but <laughs> Because that's really, that's the renewable resource. You know, and then we see opportunities all around us. You know, and it's going to be, somebody said, somebody asked me one time, well, don't you ever get afraid? Afraid of you've what? Probably conquered, you've probably conquered fear. And I go, yeah, I do. There's every time I stepped to the edge when I started my first business, let me tell you, my knee shook. My daughter was th three years old. I didn't know how I was going to feed her at that moment when I drove away. And um, there's part of me that was so excited, but there was part of me that was so scared. Mm. It was definitely in fear. And when I opened my second company, guess what? My knee shook. And I was like, holy crap. And, and then, but I was excited, but I was afraid because I was expanding with the women of global change, going into international, like, you know, just kind of blowing up <laughs> organic growth. I was like, oh, I was just doing this once a year. This could, you know, we went from like one service project a year to like over 30, wow. whatever. And it was like, whoa, you know? And of course I, could, I, I felt in shock and awe, but every time my knee shook and I was excited, I realized and I, I was aware of where I felt it in my body and I stepped forward anyway. And there are times I failed. I want to say this. Failure is a friend. Absolutely. It's just how long did I dwell in failure? And it was funny because in the beginning I would be laying in bed. <laughs> this would be wide open. And I'd be thinking of all the mess ups and I'd be like, oh my God, that was bad. Oh my God. Oh. No, no, no. And I could actually talk myself out of doing it. And um, I really wasn't even looking at, oh, well, three parts were a success or even one part, whatever, right? And I've really practiced that I've gotten to a point where now I go, okay, that was a fail. What worked? Take what worked, move on. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, and so, you know, Big things happen always when we're in that moment of where it's kind of fearful, <laughs> sometimes really scary because we're risking things. And when we're definitely like on the other side of it, of, you know, excitement and anticipate, you know, this, it is so it's, it's recognizing that. 
I, so I don't know if I'm helping anybody out here, but I hope I am. Um, no, no this know, is all great stuff, Shelly. Absolutely. I mean, the, since I've known you, what I met you at actually at a leadership. Why don't we talk about that? <laughs> okay. Yes. I. So it was pretty funny. Um, we were both at a commercial. <laughs> what was it? A week before or two weeks before or something? No, and so one week, like barely or days. Yeah, like it was like I don't know, but it was really close together. Like maybe like four or five days or so. Yeah, I don't know, close. Now that you think about. It. So we were filming for a TV show, and we're the guests, and we're like in the back, and we kind of say hi, and we're talking, and the next thing I know, you know, Lauren goes, and then I go, and we do our little interviews, and we go home, and four or five days later, I show up to teach. PSI's Women's Leadership Seminar. So I show up to teach this Women's Leadership Seminar and I walk up to the front of the room and there's, I don't know, what, 80, 70, 80 ladies, right? Whatever it was. There was a hundred of us in that one. Okay, maybe a hundred, something, yeah. somewhere in there, right? And I walk up to the front of the room and I'm like, good afternoon, ladies. And I look and in the front row, there you are, Lori. <laughs> I was like, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, she, I didn't even know she knew about any of this. I had no idea. You were, I hadn't even looked at like the student list yet because I, I like to just be able to go in and, and meet them and not see what they do and any of that yet, you know, like in, right. in their lives and stuff. I like to just experience them. Well, yeah, there you were. It was freaking hysterical. I literally had to go to the back of the room and I walked outside. I was like, oh my gosh, like really? <laughs> I go, I'm going to have to address this. They're going to kind of know, you know, <laughs> that we know each other. All right. I mean, right. <laughs> it was great though. Yeah. That was a great 11 days on the ranch with you. Yep. Quite. And serving, you know, I mean. It, that it, was a huge service project we did because they yeah. had the fires and all that had happened. And so we had to shore up the whole, all the, um, the back there at the ranch. Remember? What yeah. The, the California fires took out so much. Yes. That was, um, yeah. Except yeah. the pavilion, which was amazing. It burned all the way around. I know. I, I, you know, I said, there's something energetic, you know, cause I think fire cleanses and you know, there, I think nature has divine intelligence, you know? So when nature's going in it's divine intelligence, get out of the way. Right. <laughs> Good, move out of the way. Tip from Shelly Hunt. You know, big tip. Get out of the way. Get move out of the way. You know, but it's either women leaders on a project or nature. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> either one. Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> but I I do love um, women's leadership. Uh, it is one of the things about you know we're climbing the mountain and I'm reaching out my hand and I'm taking my sisters with me. And, you know, I mean, I think that extends to all humanity, not just sisters, but, you know, I think that that's one of the things that is so important for women in business right now and for women in success right now, um, you know, because it's never really about, even though it is about business to me and I'm very direct when it comes to business and I'm, you know, sit, there's certain systems and formulas or whatever. Mm -hmm. However, success to me is that we're living a fulfilling life that we're enjoying the journey, that we're healthy to enjoy the journey, that right. we're engaging, right, with the people we love. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what, that's another thing. It's kind of like the renewable source. I mean, Lauren, you are the health queen. Correct. That is I know, you are, you know, and when you work out, you get more energy. That's right, it, you it, right? It, that's my renewable source. Yeah, and aren't there, aren't there like a bunch of things like chemicals and everything else? It's like that renews in your body, <laughs> right? That renews in your body when you're moving and when mm -hmm. you're, you know, I mean, <clears throat> I think one of the biggest things right now that we have a problem with is we're, you know, people sitting too long. Exactly, like we are right now. Well, wait, <laughs> we're on our phone, the phone's on our ear, and then you're like, why is this side of my neck so much longer than the other? <laughs> Or the computer, looking yeah. at the computer all day. Like, Broke. you know, I mean, yeah. Punching the shoulders yeah. in. Oh, thank you, Lauren. You're welcome. Yeah. Everybody, <laughs> everybody sit up straight. All right, ladies <laughs> up. There you go. Girls up. That's right. Yeah, up, ladies. That's right. <laughs> Posture is key to how we hold ourselves and the energy mm -hmm. that we 
you know, we exude that's in our bodies. It's, it's stuff's all key. It's all part of it. I mean, I'm doing that whole program is putting yourself first and yeah. instead of last as women, we always tend to put ourselves last. I was just going to say that another, you know, mm-hmm. renewable, um, do to a B. I don't know about this, but I run the bathtub. Like that's one of my things, you know, is I love my bath and it's like, that's my space where your time. I just be, I just be. Mm. you know, and I know as women, we do for so many people and our mind is so incredible. You know, I remember when my daughter was living at the house, she's older, 22 now, but she was living at the house. And I really got this one day when she goes, mom, where are my shoes? And I go, they're on the second step of the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> Boom. Mom, where's my hat? It's on the fourth dining room chair over to the left. And she's like, what? But because our mind catches everything. And it's so important for us to be able to let it go for a little bit. I, I promise performance increases, production increases. Mm -hmm. Um, opportunities increase and even more than that our like happiness in this journey increases you know if you feel like there's not enough time in the day you need to tap into a renewable source you need to stop and you need to go tap into one of the renewable sources for you I like that because I'm, I'm very guilty of doing, 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 going, 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 and I'm in a reset myself and staying home and focusing and getting stuff done. And I'm finding that it's, I have more joy in it because it's, it feels better, you know, it, yeah. it, it's a whole different mindset. And right now when we're filming, you know, we're in a crisis right now with this coronavirus. Hopefully by the window when the show airs, we're on the other side of this. Let's pray and hope for that. But right now, I'm you know really urging and, and and asking people to really put themselves first and really look at their health, build up that immune system, and do everything. Move, and we've got to yeah. get new stuff. Well, of- people, you know, people have been they're on the 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 gerbil wheel of just yeah. going, and exactly. you know what? It feels really weird. You know, even with the the coronavirus thing, right? It feels really weird right now. When I I was geared up. March, I was only home, like supposed to be supposed to be home three or four days. And all of a sudden I was like, whoa, full stop. Yeah. It felt. It really wasn't, but it was a it was a full shift. And yeah. business wise, you know, it was how we engage, contact, and distribute. Totally just became different. Yes. In in a a day, a couple of days. What it was just it, it was a second. It's a blip on the yes. timeline of my life, you know. Um, and literally um, being able to go, wait a minute, because it felt weird, and <laughs> and it felt awkward. And you're like, what am I doing? I should be doing something, you know. I I I, I got to keep going. And then I was like, wait a minute, you know, I. The best of the best leaders know when they're not in the B. Mm. When you're going down the path and you know the energy goes off, and I talked about it before I turn the music on or go take a bath or go pet the pet or do it, right? The best of the best leaders in the world knew when their energy was off. You're not always going to be on. Athletes are not always on. Right. We can't expect the, the, the same of ourselves. That's unrealistic. And so, you know, to go, wait, to be the best I can be, I've got to go here for a minute. I mean, if you feel that time, if you feel you don't get enough time in the day to do everything that needs to be done, then time is running you. You're not running your time. Mm. And you're, I always look at it like, you know what? I'm the, I'm the director here of my life. Yes. I'm the leader of my life. And wait a minute, if I'm on the gerbil wheel and there's not enough times in the day, time in the day to get, and I'm harried, (laughs) wait, I know I need to step to the side for a minute. And as much as we're programmed that you have to do to have, it starts with a B. I love it. (laughs) Well done. so much fun. Okay, I have to say it while we're on camera. That is the coolest dang shirt. 
Thank you. But before we, we before we go, I want you to say what your books are because I know you've written quite a few books. Okay. And um, how do if people want to get involved with your leadership at this the side that you know I've been through as well, right. and what you have for our audience members as far as um, a gift from Shelly Hunt. So let's okay. address these four things, and we've got a few minutes. We're we're good. We're are we good? Okay, good. good All right, so we can talk for days, but it's good. We'll keep it in an hour. Okay, so what do you want first? You want the books? Yeah, let's um, go with the, your books, okay, the titles. Have, okay, books. I have Success is by Design, um, which is a business book that talks about some of the principles that I just kind of talked about with you, and then some. Okay. Um, I have a trilogy. I have The Faces of Feminine Power, which is right. The Power for Women, which talks about kind of all of the facets and embracing our totality and who we are and, you know, some of our renewable sources and maybe some of our not so renewable traits <laughs> kind of thing of ourselves and the women in our lives. So that's the faces of feminine, the power. I have the faces of feminine, the business, which is a montage of leaders from around the world and women that have made their histories and, and, how, why and how, I guess I should say, um, they went on to do some of the most amazing things in the world, whether it was Hollywood, whether it was in India, whether it was in Egypt, it's, it's um, Jane Wilhite, you know, was in the book, the founder of PSI and, yeah. and so many more. Um, uh, it's incredible. And then um, I also have the Faces of Feminine, um, the Spirit, where it talks about, you know, how do we tap into our B? How do we tap into our renewable sources? Um, so I have that. I also have those that serve succeed. Those that serve succeed is just getting ready for pre-sale. Um, it was um, written with Bob Proctor. Um, and so he's done the, well, he did the forward and he designed the cover actually, which was kind of cool. Um, but it's really about, um, this much about what I talked about, but it's really about service. So service in life, service in business, service to ourselves. Like how do we live a full life? Um, you know, and, and the laws of manifestation, the laws of um, relativity, the laws of, um, Oh my God, there's just so many. Anyways, I won't, I won't totally get into that. But if they're interested in that, they can always go to successisbydesign.com and they can okay. look at that. Um, one of the things that we will do um, uh, that I'll, I'll put out there is um, we're getting ready to do a workshop on how to write your own publishing proposals. We're also getting ready to do a workshop on... Um, how to have online money funnels, which we technically use, oh, my phone's cutting out, which we, oops, are you there? <laughs> Sorry. Um, how to do online money funnels and also, you know, how to engage media and PR right now because you have a very captured audience because mm -hmm. here we are, <laughs> right? And, yeah. and there's new modes and mediums of marketing right now. And so um, this isn't going to go away tomorrow. And you know what? This, even when the coronavirus is over, this is going to continue on as a portal because we're realizing exactly how globally connected we are. But right now it's kind of imperative. So that'll be coming. If they go to successesbydesign.com, okay. they can find that there. What I will offer everybody is if what they would like to do is if they would like to have a copy of Success is by Design, the book. Mm -hmm. um, we sell it for $24.99 and we will offer it to you free. If you would like to make a donation, that would be awesome. It would go to the Women of Global Change, to one of our service projects. So how about this? How about we make it easy? Okay. We'll make it easy. If you just want the book for free, you can have the book for free. If you purchase the book, then what we will do is we will give you a tax donation from the Women of Global Change and we will donate it to one of our local service projects that are going on right now. For example, um, we're serving the first responders 
many of our first responders all around the world in Spain and here in the US and in New York and San Francisco and LA and all that kind of stuff, many of our first responders have child care centers that they drop their children off before they go to the hospitals or they go to their locations. And so right now we have a big drive for them to be able to support the needs of these children inside the first responders daily programs. And so, you know, I'll tell you what, I'll autograph it. I'll get you a tax deductible donation and you can help support the first responders or you can just have the book for free. It's totally up to you. That's awesome. How's that? That's fabulous. <laughs> okay. And so if they, if they want to do that, like I said, they can go to successes by design. They can purchase the book. If okay. they want the book for free, go to successes by design and you will see info at success is is by by design.com it, it they don't forget the is <laughs> success yeah. is by design.com um, info at success is by design.com and we will get them the book for free okay just email us that you saw us on you know Lauren's power uh power. you know movement here you know, the power hour I love that um, <laughs> power movement here and um, you know, we'll write you back and we'll ask for all your details and we'll send that over to you. I hope that you donate. I hope that you donate to our first responders right now. I got to say it. I, I would be more than happy to, um, you know, uh, sign it in and be able to, if you go to the Women of Global Change, you'll start to be able to, they're working on the website right now, but <clears throat> the projects are going on all over the world you know, for our first responders. And you're gonna to start to see some of the works that are being done out there, which is pretty incredible. And, you know, um, I'm all about being an, an empowered and activated leader. Positive progress yes, and change. You are, yes. For ourselves, our communities in the world, and we're needed yes. now. So here we, we are. Did, we did in what Vegas, we did this the um, at your summit for Women in Global Change. We did it with the school, remember? We built the whole yes. patio for the, uh, the we did it for Clark County School in Las Vegas because most 90% of the children in Nevada, 90% of the public school system children in Nevada um, can't afford lunch. Aww. And many of them, it's their only meal of the day. <clears throat> and so we went in and we refurbished some things and we built out some classrooms for them and we got them supplies and some other things for them to be able to kind of offset with the kids. Yeah. yeah. That's, what we're, that's what we're about. You know, it's not You're about, right. <laughs> and I want everybody to make money. Hear me. I want everybody to be successful. I want everybody to make money. I want everybody to, you know, do great things in the world, but I want them to skid into home plate knowing you made a difference and you enjoyed the journey. You know, um, that's, that's my come from. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love you, girl. Absolutely. Yes. All right. Anything else you want to add? No, other than <laughs> no. I love you, my friend, and you're so much fun. And I'm going to steal that shirt as soon as I'm yeah. out of quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shirt date. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. So another power hour with my good friend, Shelly Hunt. She is just a dynamo, as you've heard. Check her out. What's your website, honey? Besides, this, um, this is by design. That's for all the books. What's your website? Yeah, but they can, they can also go to, they can go to Women of Global Change. Perfect. You can find me. At my, my resume is long. My bio is long. <laughs> and, and you can always, I will get it. If you reach out to those, my staff will give it to me. If you ask for me directly, you'll get me. That's okay? great. Yeah, that's awesome. So she's an amazing, amazing woman. I'm so honored to have you on the show. And we are going to have a shirt date soon. <laughs> that's right. I love you, sister, my friend. Thank you. Mentors, Thank you for being on the show, Shelly. Until next time, a power hour. You guys all be safe, healthy, wealthy, and happy. I'm Lauren Powers, your host, and we're out.